Hi guys, it's Adam from Web Starts here today to show you another helpful tool that I stumbled across and it might help you for your website, especially if you're looking for an easy way to collect recurring payments. So what I did is I have this website, Freedom Honduras, where we collect donations on a recurring basis to sponsor feeding programs. And I've added a couple of the different program levels here to my website and when you click on them you can enter your card information and sign up to pay for example $25 a month. Now I have this set up like I said for a donation but you can also use this for a business purpose for example if you have software that or a service that you're selling and you want to receive monthly payments then you can use this service to do that. So stick with me in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that in Web Starts. And the service that I'm going to be using is called Pay Here. You can find Pay Here by going to payhere.co. And the first step, of course, is going to be to sign up and create an account, which I've already done for this demo. So what I'm going to do is log into my account and show you how exactly I got the links that I needed to add to my Web Starts website. All right, I'm logged into my Pay Here account. And something that you need to keep in mind with Pay Here is that it's dependent on having a Stripe account. So you would want to connect your Stripe account to your Pay Here account in order to process your credit card payments. Stripe is a competitive online credit card payment processor. You can go to stripe.com and sign up for a free account. They charge 2.9% and I think 25 cents per transaction for your credit card transactions, which is a competitive rate. They're super easy to sign up and highly recommended. So once you've done that, be sure to connect your Stripe account by logging into your Pay Here account and clicking on the Connect with Stripe button. The next thing you're need, going to need to do is go to set up plans. Here I've already created my plans. You can create both recurring plans and one-off plans. So a recurring plan, once again, that's if you want to charge somebody, let's say for example, on a monthly basis, you would choose that. You would give your plan a name, a brief description. You would provide some receipt text. That's the information that appears on a customer's email receipt after they've completed the transaction. You'll also want to enter your recurring price, your currency, and then down here it says payment should be immediately now and every you know, one month if you're doing on a monthly basis, but you can break that up into weeks, months, years. You can do it like two payments a month, two payments a year, whatever you want to do. The minimum billing cycle is the amount of the minimum amount of time you want between those recurring payments. And then you can also do things like limit the amount of times this plan can be purchased. So if you have 50 people that you're willing to take into this program, you could limit that to 50 or whatever it is. And then of course you can also hide pay here dot co from freedom dash Honduras, which is my uh, pay link. So here you can use a webhook that's for advanced users. I'm not going to get into that, but once you're ready, you click save and then your payment plan is created and you can find that under setup plan. So here I've created my plans and the way that I implement that into my web starts website is I just copy the link just like this. And then I move over to my web starts page editor and I've already created these boxes and included the information they needed to know about the plan. You can assemble your content on your web page however you like. This is just the way that I chose to do it as I added a couple of kind of tall boxes. I provided the price and a brief explanation of what it is that you're signing up for. Then I added a button to each of those boxes and I created a hyperlink from those buttons to another website and then I pasted the URL into the field provided and then I clicked create link. Once you're done, you click save and then you can preview that really easily by clicking view site and then going down to your button, clicking on it and then making sure it takes you to the appropriate pay here checkout page. So once somebody enters their card information there, I'll go ahead and start 
collecting recurring payments and I'll be able to track everything that's going on, like the payment history and all the transaction information, like my subscribers in my pay here account. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into what you need to know to set up some recurring payments on your website. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable notifications to be the first to find out when I release a new video.